Hello, my name is Sophia and welcome back to The Mind Palace. Today we're going to be diving even deeper into the world of our subconscious programming. Reality check, you observe the world through filters. We see such a small fraction of what reality actually is. And that's because we see the world through our subconscious filters. And we can call these filters paradigms. Paradigms are mental subconscious programs. They are all the ideas and beliefs that we accept as true. This consists of our ideas about ourselves, about other people, and about the world around us. 95% of your actions are subconscious. So your internal programs have an incredibly large impact on who you are, what you do, and the overall quality of your life. But it's not like we can go peering into our subconscious mind to see what the heck is going on in there. The only way that we can gain an awareness about what our paradigms are is by looking at our results. Your results always tell the truth. You know, maybe you found that you are never able to reach over a 2.0 GPA. That's because of your paradigms. Or maybe you consistently find yourself attracted to people who just don't want to commit to you. That's also a paradigm. Maybe it's just as simple as you wake up every day feeling exhausted and drained. That is because of a paradigm. If we actually question the beliefs that we have and the assumptions that we make, and believe me, you make a lot in a day, we would realize that we actually don't have valid reasons for supporting them. And the only reason that we accept them is because it's what we've been told time and time and time again throughout our entire lives. Today we're going to be breaking down three paradigms that are holding you back. The first paradigm is, I don't have enough time. Geez, if I had a nickel for every time I heard this growing up, or every time that I said it myself, I would be a billionaire by now. You know, and if you think about it, it's actually totally illogical. Because every person who has ever achieved anything amazing in life, and any person who's achieved what you're trying to achieve in this life, has had the exact same amount of time in a day as you do. You know, and this, this paradigm really hit me over the last summer. You know, I had this coworker, and she was working a nine to five full-time job, and then she would come and work the evenings with me, all while being in summer school and making time to travel at least once a month. I mean, this girl meal prepped. She even made time for the gym. And you know, we all know someone like this, someone where it's like, you almost feel like they're living on a different planet than you are. But it's because those people have a paradigm. Their paradigm is, my time is valuable. Imagine how different your life would be if every time you started saying, I don't have enough time, you actually said, my time is valuable. I bet you would start using your time a lot differently. You know, you would realize that that hour you spend on Twitter every morning is actually not honoring the value of your time. And that you could be using your time, you know, to actually better yourself and like focus on your priorities. See, the problem isn't that you don't have enough time. The problem is that you're not valuing the time that you do have. And these are like surface level paradigms that are very easy to catch because they're things we find ourselves saying over and over and over. You know, things like making money takes struggle or I have to be a certain age to be successful. Wake up, people. There is a four year old making millions on YouTube right now. You know, so if you're still buying into those paradigms, stop investing. The second paradigm is I need the world's approval. This one's a little different because it's not like we're going through our day saying, yeah, give me your approval. But this is the paradigm that creeps up on us every time we get an idea that we're really excited about and it's immediately followed by, oh, but my parents would never let me. Or, oh, what would my friends think? You know, I find myself being so inspired by friends that I have who make it like two, three years into their university degrees and then they change their mind. You know, because we know how socially unacceptable this is. We know how much pressure there is to graduate in a certain time period, you know, and get into the workforce. But these people, they had to totally throw that paradigm of I need the world's approval away and adopt a new paradigm of I value my own wants and needs over the approval of others or over the approval of society. Changing a paradigm takes courage. The final paradigm that I'm going to be talking about is the one that I find most detrimental and misleading in today's society. And that is, I'll believe it when I see it. 
You know, this is the paradigm that tells us that our outside world and outside experiences and events that take place should have the power to tell us how to feel inside. This is so dangerous because it puts us in reaction mode. It tells us that we have no control over what's happening to us. All we can do is react, react, react. You know, but if we change this paradigm from I'll believe it when I see it to I'll see it when I believe it, now we're in creation mode. Now we're letting our inner thoughts and feelings direct the circumstances of our outside world and not the other way around. This is such a simple truth, but if you can understand this, you can have anything that you want in life. Life is happening through you. Life is not happening to you. Your life is being directed by your internal state, by your internal paradigms. And if you can learn to value, you know, your own feelings and emotions and thoughts, you know, those things that you see in imagination and those insights you receive in intuition over the things that your five senses are telling you, you will realize how easily this world bends for you. Thank you so much for watching and this is your reminder to enjoy every precious moment. For more videos like this one, follow at themindpalace.ca on Instagram, like at themindpalace.ca on Facebook, and subscribe to the Mind Palace channel on YouTube.